Hi guys, it's almost the end of the financial year and accountants are busy making forecasts and budget for their clients. Today, I want to share a simple Excel tip that can help you figure out the financial year end date. You can use this formula to determine other dates such as recurring billing dates or mortgage repayment dates. If your financial year ends on the last day of a month, you can use either the EO month function or the EDEP function, so they will give the same result. I personally prefer the EDEP function just because it's a little bit faster to type and easier to remember, so that is what I will show you today. Let's say your current financial year end date is 30th June 2023 in cell A3. We want to fill cell B3 to F3 with the financial year end dates for the next five years. To do this, go to cell B3 and type equal E date. The start date is the um, end of the current financial year, which is in cell A3, comma, enter 12 to indicate that you want the date to be 12 months from the end of the current financial year. Close the bracket, and that is it. Now, to copy the formula from cell B3 to cell C3 to F3, use um, so select cell from B3 to F3 and use the um, control R shortcut in Excel to fill right. This will copy everything, including the cell format. If you do not want to break the formatting of these cells, you can use the um, OES shortcut to do a paste special. So um, copy and then select cell from B3 to F3, OES, select paste formulas only and then hit enter and that's it. Um, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.